In this video, we'll be covering how to come up with a search strategy for your topic, meaning you'll figure out which keywords to use and how you want to connect them. Before you start to search, it can be useful to brainstorm search terms, including variations of the key terms in your topic. You can't search databases the way you would Google. Instead of putting in full sentences or questions, you need to boil down your topic to just the keywords in it. If I want to know if educational television has a positive effect on preschool children's development, I can't type that in as a question because the search engine will look for effect, it will look for positive, it will look for other words in my question that are going to appear in plenty of articles that aren't actually going to be useful to me. So instead, I have to reduce my question down to just the key terms and brainstorm from there. For preschool children, educational television, and childhood development, I'll write down synonyms like toddler or TV instead of television, as well as preschool as one word instead of with a hyphen. As I start to read more scholarly literature about my topic, I'll also learn more about the academic terms that are used to discuss it, and can add those terms to my list. I'll write down related terms for my key terms like curriculum, or video, or socialization. Additionally, I'll want to have broader and narrower terms for some parts of my topic at the ready. For instance, development is pretty general. I might decide to focus on language acquisition and choose that term to narrow down my search. Or I might decide that preschool children is too narrow of an area for my topic, and I may decide to open it up to the more general term of children. I want to have those terms ready for if I start getting search results that are either way too many for me to really get a sense of the topic, in which case I will pick a narrower term, or way too few for me to base a paper on, in which case I will use one of my broader terms. In general, you'll probably want more recent articles on your topic, but sometimes you'll need a more specific time frame. If I know that I'm mostly interested in studies that look at educational television on mobile or smart devices, then I'll want to only look at articles from the last 10 years or so. If I want to talk about educational television only since the internet, then I'd probably just go with articles from the last 25 years. Lastly, I'll want some idea of how many of my terms I need to find together, if putting all of my terms into one search doesn't get me more than a few articles. I'll think on which articles that are only on part of my topic will still have something to offer to my paper. I may decide that articles about educational television and childhood development about other age groups could sometimes still be useful, in which case I would just use the search terms for those parts of my topic. I also may decide that articles on what educational television is available to preschool students in general won't be that useful to me if it's not about development, in which case I won't look for articles that leave out development when talking about preschoolers or educational television. Remember, this is a list that you create for yourself. It isn't set in stone, and you can change it as you figure out new terms that authors use to describe your topic, but it is something that you can reference if you get stuck. Next, you'll need to figure out how you are connecting your search terms. If you need both key terms in your search, connect them with AND. This will narrow your search results. If one of your topic terms has a lot of synonyms, you can add them to your search strategy, connecting them with OR. So if you are getting less results, take all of those synonyms that you just brainstormed, connect them together with OR, and you'll be more sure that you're not losing relevant results because they said television instead of TV. You can see here that I'm getting more results when I phrase my search like this. Put quotation marks around words you only want to appear together, and it will eliminate the results you get where both words just happen to be in the article. If you want to get more advanced, you can use the wildcard asterisk to get variations of the same word so you don't have to list all of the variations connecting them with OR. It's like a bunch of blank tiles in Scrabble or Words with Friends. You can see here in the results the different versions of this word that I am getting, and these are all articles I wouldn't get without having to list out all of the different variations of this word. When I put terms in different boxes on an advanced search page, 
the string as it appears above my search results has those terms in parentheses together, meaning that it is treating them as a single unit. You can use these parentheses the same way if you are trying to type all of your search terms into one box. Like if you are looking for NYC or New York City or New York to get all of the different ways the city might be phrased in an article, you can put those terms together in parentheses and have them in your search strategy. Feel free to reach out to the library if you have any further questions after you have begun your search. We are here to help you.